Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's episode is all about Cicely Paris. So I'll be doing a brand review. So I want to show you the best, the worst, kind of in the middle, everything that Cicely has to offer. I feel like I have the majority of the makeup products offered by Cicely in front of me. And if I don't have them here, I'll talk about them because I have actually tried absolutely everything from, from Sisley. I have been a Sisley consumer and a client for a very long time. The Sisley brand doesn't really put a lot of their money or their budget into the fancy packaging. They actually allocate most of their budget into R&D, into developing incredible formula. Formula that doesn't damage your skin, if anything it makes it better. Formula that is mostly natural, with natural ingredients. But also I have to say that Sisley products perform so well and I'm a professional woman, I have long days, I need products that look beautiful, that are elegant and polished, but at the same time long-lasting and comfortable, and yet natural on the skin. That's what this brand is all about. It's all about natural beauty in a very understated way, but also something that is good for your skin. And that's why I love the brand so much. So I will start with powders, and I'm specifically talking about setting powders. and. I have all of them. I have all of the powders that Sisley actually has to offer because I like Sisley's powders. So let's start with the loose powder. This is the, what are you called? So this is the Fito Pudre Libre and I have it in two shades. I have it in shade 2 matte and 1 IRC. Here's the difference between these two. So this is the matte version. Um, and two is just a it's completely translucent actually shade if you ask me but it does give you a bit of a more of a matte finish now I don't want to call it a complete matte because it's not it's more of a I would say velvet satin finish on the skin these powders are really finely milled and this is how they they come this is the dispenser these powders are so finely milled that they're pretty much undetectable on the skin. This powder, especially the, the matte one, works with absolutely every skin type. It works with absolutely every foundation. I've been using this product for a very long time. I, I'm so happy with this powder. This is probably top, I would say, six, seven powders in my, in my collection. I don't want to say it's number one because I still like my La Prairie loose powder. There's a bunch of other powders that, that I love. Now the other version of the loose powder is one IRC and one IRC has a little bit of a glow and that's what I have on my on my face today actually I set with the matte and I buffed with uh, with the glowy one. The next powder I want to go to is this one and this is the newest powder in Sisley's collection. I think this product came out I can't remember probably five six months ago. But this is the mattifying uh, powder. This is one of those really interesting textures that is kind of a moist powder, if you will. There's three butters in the formula of this powder. I usually use it as a buffing at the end, as a buffing step. But you can set with this, uh, with this powder also. This is so gorgeous especially if you buff with it at the end it just kind of melts into the skin because of the butters that it contains so it smooths everything it's it just a, such a such a gorgeous and innovative product this is a formula unlike anything that i've tried before there's some similarities to the Shantakai. i actually had this uh, this powder i think last year that was a uh, it came in this beautiful beautiful um, but i didn't bring it here but it's almost like a um, like a putty. I think this is a better powder because it just it's very finely milled and it doesn't sit heavy on the skin. The Shantakai one, unfortunately, I love it also, but it comes in one shade and it sits kind of a little bit heavier on the skin. This powder comes in four different shades. I have two natural and four bronze. The bronze one, obviously, I use as a bronzer because it's um it's a uh, just kind of like a deeper shade but these powders are just gorgeous i think i voted this powder as the best powder of 2020 
the most innovative, one of the most innovative products of 2020 as well because this product is just gorgeous. Another powder by Sisley that I want to talk to you about is this powder. This is actually a foundation powder and this is how it looks like. This is actually, if not my favorite foundation powder, one of my favorite foundation powders. I have mine in two soft beige and this is pretty much the most appropriate shade for me. I have to tell you, I do not use this powder as a powder foundation or instead of foundation. I usually use it on top of foundation. And I like to set my foundation with this powder, especially if I'm using a very light coverage foundation. This kind of smooths everything. This is the most unbelievable velvety texture that you can find in a powder. And yes, it does give you coverage. It comes in different shades, so you can find a shade that's appropriate for you. But it smooths absolutely everything. It makes you look like... It makes you look perfect just flawless the best thing about this powder is because it's still a powder but it melts into the skin and it gets actually better with time now it's kind of the opposite of this powder i have to show you this powder because and i thought that this powder was going to be discontinued i don't know if it will i thought that this product is replacing it although it's a very different texture this powder is actually a very light, almost translucent powder. You can't even see it. I use this to buff and my shade is too iris C and kind of like this iris C, although this is a, a number two, this has a glow. It gives you the most beautiful finish. It actually kind of reminds me of uh, meteorites, but this is actually better than meteorites if you ask me meteorites you have to be very on my skin i have to be very careful with meteorites i can't pile on too much of it because it tends to break my my makeup apart but this is as i said reminds me because it kind of gives you the satin finish it's just so so beautiful yet translucent on the skin so i use this for for buffing i absolutely adore this powder as well now one powder that came on the market I think two years ago maybe is this one, this powder. Uh, it has the, I, I'm obviously kind of using a little bit of it, but uh, this is the Blur, it's called the Blur Expert. Now I don't use this powder traditionally as a powder, I don't set with it, I actually use it as a primer and I'll tell you exactly how, how I use it. So this is the Double Tensor. This is a, we call it a primer, it's not actually a primer, that was not the purpose of when Sisley made this product, that was not the purpose. This is actually a lifting and firming serum and it has this very thin gel consistency, so this is a skincare product, but I think we discovered by using it that it does a fantastic job of priming your face. So I use this product as a primer and then I'll take a buffing brush and stamp this powder kind of all over my face. I wouldn't buff it into the skin, I'll just stamp it and it blurs everything. It preps your face so well for foundation. It just smooths everything, fills all of your pores and textures if you have that problem. I don't have pores but I do want the blurring effect and this actually accomplishes it yes I get it is you know a two-step process to prime your face I probably don't do it every day but you know on occasion if I want to play with my makeup or I'm going to be using a very light foundation and I still want that blurring effect this is a winning combo for me that's exactly how I love using this powder now you can use this powder as a setting or a buffing powder as well. It doesn't work for me. I've tried using it as a setting powder or, or a buffing powder at the end and it breaks my, my makeup apart. Also, it comes in one shade and it tends to actually oxidize with, with time. That's why I, I do prefer putting it underneath my foundation as a primer. Now, since I mentioned this product, the Double Tensor, 
I have to say that this is probably the first product that I bought from Sisley and I think this is the product that kind of you know got me into Sisley and made me so curious about Sisley products because this actually does work as a firming and lifting serum it's again a very very thin consistency I'll show you this is like a very very thin gel that when you put it on the skin it gives you a very slight glow but at the same time it sink, it, it kind of sinks into your skin immediately uh, pretty much now over time in four five six hours throughout the day you actually do start to feel this kind of a, a bit of a firming sensation but not in a not in a bad way you don't feel like you're wearing makeup you just feel very comfortable and you feel like nothing jiggles and nothing is out of place it's just it's it's the most uh, astonishing product and i i like it that i discovered that we all discovered that we can use this as a primer because it's not just skincare see it dried down very very quickly and it has a little bit of a tug to it now my skin has a little bit of a tug that's what makes it special and it preps your skin so well for foundation application now yes it is a kind of a pricey product if you're looking at it just as a primer for the purpose of primer it's an expensive product but it's not this is skincare this is an anti-aging product and with application and wear over time it is supposed to tighten your skin and that's why I love this product because it kind of has a dual purpose and since a primer is one of those that you put in closer to the skin before foundation before everything else this will actually have a good effect or a productive effect on your skin Sisley foundations Sisley Paris has a lot of foundations a lot of different foundations and I love anti-aging foundations and I link a video here I did a whole video on my best 10 anti-aging foundations meaning foundations that do contain a proprietary ingredient by the brand that works against aging so Sisley has an anti-aging foundation it's the Sisley A foundation and if you have watched my 10 best anti-aging foundations you probably already know my opinion about it it's not my favorite product I think that product is a little overpriced for what it for what it is the foundation is kind of too moisturizing it sits on your skin pretty much like a mask and it doesn't really dry down at least that's the the effect that it has on me now I know some people that love that foundation I think if you have very very dry skin or mature skin and you need that extra moisture and barrier then you may like that foundation unfortunately it's not it just doesn't work for me I don't I don't like it I have other anti-aging foundations in the same price range that are way better than this one although I do love the Cislia skincare collection the anti-aging line by Cisli Paris I actually used that line for a while right now I'm using something else I've been on biologic recharge for a while but before that I was using Cisli I have to tell you that the Cisli uh, actually eye cream is one of the best that I've that I've tried and this is the one that I intend to repurchase but let me tell you what my favorite foundations by Cisli are my absolute favorite foundation and probably top 10 not anti-aging just foundations top 10 in my collection overall is actually this product this is the oil free foundation by Sisley this is also kind of a new product probably a year ago it came out this is one of the longest lasting foundations in in my in my collection this stays put 14 16 hours you just it doesn't move now it's kind of on the matte side but I would say more of a velvet satin finish it's buildable all the way to full coverage this foundation is gorgeous and again long lasting very very important for me also I do love the fact that it's oil free I tend not to put oils on my face just because well certain oils not all oils but certain oils then tend to clog pores so I don't like to put any oils on my face now this is again an oil free foundation I love that it's also I believe 90% a natural product 
So I love that as well. Now most of Sisley's products do not actually have a scent or fragrance. This one does contain something. Um, I can't really decide but it's not intrusive in any way. It doesn't bother me. I'm actually very sensitive to fragrances and um, scents. I don't mind scent or fragrance in anything but it has to be a pleasant one. This is not bad at all. And I have mine in two shades. This is actually what I have on my face today. What I have on my face is in two soft beige. I also have it in three natural. This is a Dutch, probably a shade deeper. So when I tan in the summer months, this is the one that I that I use. But I absolutely love this product. This product is such a big win for, for Sisley if you're looking for a long-lasting foundation. Now, I'll attach a video here, but I did a review of the new Chantagai cushion foundation. And I have to say that the finish is very similar to this. It does resemble a lot. It's very velvet, buildable, satin just smoothing absolutely gorgeous with one very very big difference this foundation is long lasting it doesn't change it doesn't oxidize it doesn't move it doesn't crease it doesn't crinkle it doesn't do anything you can have it on for such a long time 14 16 hours this foundation doesn't move it's absolutely gorgeous that way the shantikai foundation although absolutely beautiful at first application unfortunately after hour three it starts to change now the Shantikai foundation is also a natural, vegan, cruelty-free product and I love that about it, but it did change. By the end of the day, it looked very different on my face. Now, I didn't look horrible, but yes, it does change. If you see my video, you see that. I have seen other reviews on that foundation, although everybody claims that it doesn't. You can clearly see in the video that towards the end of the day, the foundation looks very, very different. It's very... It gets kind of very glowy and a little sweaty looking, so you have to powder. This, you don't have to do anything. You set it and you go all day long and it just doesn't move. So I absolutely love this foundation. I wore it today, but to be honest, I haven't worn this foundation in a very long time uh, just because I think I, I've forgotten about it, but love it, love this product. Another foundation by Sisley that I actually absolutely adore is this one. This is the uh, Tinted Sunscreen Cream and I have it in one natural. This is my perfect shade right now. This has an SPF of 30. Now, it does say Tinted Sunscreen Cream, which will kind of imply this is a very light coverage. It's something that you just throw on as a moisturizer. Now, this is a full coverage cream. It literally looks like a very, very thick cream. Put a little bit. It's not liquid. It's actually very, very thick. But as you can see, it will give you full coverage unless you kind of blend it away. And yes, it, you can shear it out if you want to. Now, this one has a bit of a strong fragrance. And it's, it's somewhere between sunscreen and flowers. I can't really decide, but I have to tell you, I love this product because if you forget to apply, if you don't have any sunscreen, you can just apply this and this is thick enough to give you enough coverage that will give you sun protection. It's SPF 30 as well. It's very easy to apply. You can apply it with a brush. You can apply it with a sponge if you want to. I sometimes just spread it with my fingers and that's just enough. It's very kind of smooth. It's not the most blurring thing because it is a cream, but it sits beautifully on the skin. I do, I do like this, um, this product a lot. It comes in different shades. If you've seen any of my videos before, you probably know that I like cushion foundations as well, just because they tend to be a little bit easier to use. Now, Sisley Paris has a cushion foundation I have to tell you that I'm not in love with that cushion foundation. It gives you minimal, minimal coverage and just for that price I have better cushion foundations in my collection. Um, I, don't, I don't have that product, it expired and I never repurchased, I've only tried it once. It's not a bad product, but it's just not my favorite. It doesn't, do, it doesn't do a lot, it just gives you a very minimal coverage that I can accomplish with other things. 
Okay, so this concludes part one of Cicely Perry's brand review. I realized when I was editing this video, obviously today is a different day, but I realized that this video is getting a little bit too long. So I'll actually split it in two parts. This concludes part one. In a couple of days, I'll be posting part two of Cicely brand review. I hope you enjoy this and please subscribe if you haven't already done so and I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.